Hello, hello, Gliss fam. Happy Monday. This is me, Nancy. Welcome back to Glitz Live Tutorial. I am so excited to be back today to see you with another tutorial. And I hope everyone having a fabulous Monday and productive Monday. And I'm so excited today. Today is going to be a really cool tutorial. It's in this all colors. And also, it's going to be so easy. And today, we're going to do the Glitz Gel Palace. I'm going to promise it's going to be a, such a really quick cute and simple design you can does it you can do this with the short nails or long nails and then the colors of the background can be varies you can change in different colors and it'll turn out really beautiful and this is to the colors i'm using number four is a uh, mangoes and number 18 which is young purple and then we're gonna do in two nails uh, similar like this, but I will do it in number six, aqua, and number 11, neon pink. So let's get swatch on that too. And then the um, Chantra Foy's fun and cute I am using is number 53's kind of a rainbow scale. So I'm so excited. So let's get so swatch that um, two colors. So I have a number six. Let's move this one on this side. And it's the Glitz Shop Palace. It has a really, really um good well consistency so when you apply it on specially for beginner nail tech it's so easy for you to apply it as well and it's not watery so you can have a full control of what you are doing and when you are applying so we are going to just watch this one if you want to see how we having a, such a great time mixing and customize a lot of different colors besides that all of 53 colors you have, you can definitely check out a lot of my video for past few weeks videos. That I always adding kind of a custom gel polish. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this really nice and thin layer you see that how nice and and like a phone covers of just a one coat okay here for 60 seconds looks really good in person 60 seconds of everyone having a fabulous monday and then the second nails we are going to do is number 11 is so nice and so uh vibrant you can see that it's one coat it's give it such a really good coverage really i'm excited about this one with the um rainbow scales it's a great design for beginner nail techs or for any of the nail lover or nail tech who also do besides seeing your clients also creates like a uh, press on nails you can't you even need a second with that one? i was like thinking of really good you don't even have to have a second coat but you see that how cool it is it's so pigmented and the colors of the swatch matching on the top to help you save time if you are not going or planning to swatch the colors every single nails like this you can definitely show up on the cap of the bottle so a second coat i always keep the bristles stay nice and flat on the nails and then we all go ahead and hear this for 60 seconds all right second coat of number six aqua is done so i'm gonna put it on the side and then the second coat for number 11. so beautiful and so vibrant i would do like two thin coat pretty much it's really good nice coverage of a one coat already so i'm going ahead and do a second coat to give it like even a really opaque finish and if you love this shade so much and you want to make it kind of a jolly polish you can definitely mix a ratio of one and one yeah it's to its core Okay. 
and then with this one we probably should we do french on this one or doing it like no on this one you can do french on that that should be really pretty it's cute okay so after a 60 second cure what i'm gonna do i'm gonna using the um alcohol and just give it a quick you can definitely top coat it if you want to but i'm gonna put alcohol and just remove any of the residues like layer to get it tacky layer off okay and then we're gonna using the premium iho chan for foy because the reason i remove it off because later we're gonna using premium iho chan for foy and then um we're gonna create like a kind of a french look like that just heating that one okay but in different colors yeah. maybe i was thinking of coming on that colors this one look cute okay let me cut this one just in case i change my mind but i love this box because it has a lot of different like it's so beautiful the color is already like built in the box and with the premium i hold chan for foy it makes it like definitely of limitless what you can create with so i'm gonna go ahead and using premium i hold chan for foy and it draw it like um the french looks there's so many different ways and you can see that i did using the french using the stem if you want to see this one i'm gonna show you if you have this or you can just like simply draw the front so like i did it all the time when i do it for you so maybe i should do should i if you have this similar like stamping like this you can definitely add it on should i add this one on maybe i should huh because i you see me do a lot of different um a lot of different video with just drawing french only this is a helpful beginner nail tech or anyone just basically just apply the premium i hold chan for voice on the like um stem head all right so just only you need to do is just hold it hold it like straight right in the plates i mean the head and then give it like really a good okay okay you want more you can definitely cool can you wipe it up for me? and then it up or you mm -hmm. keep it no i don't want to wipe it up. well i can keep it but then i don't need the um french at the moment and then now you can use this to just like really guide it using a tin tip brush as well. But I'm gonna just blend the premium Iho Chan for Foy because I already have a guide in the bit already. And then kind of draw this. I think it looks good. And blend it, just make sure. A little fur right there. Cool. And then we'll go ahead and key for 60 seconds. Make sure you apply it on. It's not going to chamfer when it doesn't have the premium I hold chamfer for you. And if you love the chan for foy so much and then you are having a little bit troubleshooting that they are not going to chan for this is going to be your best scene and it chan for pretty much 90 percent of the image and tracy so simply swipe down from the top of the comment it will hide most of the comment for you then you will have more screen rest to see what's going on and then on the other ones, I am gonna go ahead and apply the premium IO Chan Foy as well. And on this side, I'm gonna go this angle. So then we'll make it like this, you know? Okay. Premium IO Chan Foy. You can definitely use the Chan Foy as well. But the um, on the white bottle IO Chan Foy, you can key it for 60 seconds and then this is premium I hold channel for you key it for a 30 seconds under 48 watt of the UV LED lamp 
All right. I'm going to just like give it like a cable cast case down. And you can see that. Oh, this one I should. Uh, did I forgot to wipe down the tacky layer? I might. Yeah, I didn't know about that tacky layer network. I forgot, huh? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah, I guess I'm it's okay. We'll kill first. We're going to kill first because this one wet. Okay. Kill for 60 seconds. And then this is ready to apply the chamfer foil. I'm going to lay the foil right in the middle because I want to get on the both edges as well. Give a good quick rub. Well, I can see a little bit of a hair bubble right there. Give it a good like rub on the end and the edges. And I'm not using the tweezers to give it even like a good um, pressures. And then just remove it. That's it. How beautiful it is. Ooh. Great. Let's have a little bit extra right here. You can just remove it. Oh, be careful. Just wipe on the edges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at how chanfer is, how beautiful it is. Every single piece is, I did it earlier as well. Do a couple of designs for you on the video. Look at that, how it's beautiful chanfer, even though it's a solid design for the chanfer foil image. And then here's a look. Okay. Basically, I'm going to using the piece of paper towel and then I'm going to wipe it off the chanfer foil. It's there. I just wipe off the tacky layer. The reason it is because I don't want any of the extra foil might accidentally get into this nail part right here. All right, so let's chanfer it. And on this one, we are go ahead and place it right here. Give it a good rub. It's a little bit crease right there. Make sure you are rub it down. So then it adheres really well with the premium chanfer foil first. See how beautiful it is? Look at that. And if you feel any bubble in your pocket, just leg it back up. And give it a good rub again. And then it's going to chanfer beautiful for you. There you go. I'm going to do it slow so you can see how cool it is. See that? It chanfer everything, even like a little bit creasier, but it chanfer beautiful. Nice. So now, if you want something that's cute, you can add in some liners on it. If you don't, I'm going to do liners on this one. Give a cute line, like a silver line to matching with the scales. And then... And then I'm going to do the, I'm going to using the um, illuminating light art. It just give you a little bit of a shimmery sparkle and then it's kind of reflect it. And then I'm going to give um, just on this, just on the French. And then you can do the other one if you don't, uh, if you don't want to have any crystal on or your clients don't want any crystal on or like, you have the rest of the set 
is all eight nails will be um, the French or the diagonal shape, the, the design, and then two ring fingers, you put the crystal on, you know, you can do the rest of them like this. Beautiful. Without any crystal. Give it a cool line. How's that look? Cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, here, 60 second on this. And, the and then you can do this one if you want to. Yes. If do this on or we can put the crystal on this because if we crystal on it, you can't see the line though. Cool. I do the line because I'm gonna put crystal right in the middle of the nails. So you can leave it. But if you if you want this one, right? If you don't want anything else, no crystal, nothing. Just just like that. Just add the line on. Just kind of uh, highlight it on. Here for 60 seconds, top coat, and you're good to go. Okay. But I'm gonna do this one some crystal and a lot of you will ask even in through our dm what do we using to keep all the crystal is stay in one place and last for weeks to come so i'm go ahead and using crystal trifecta and you're gonna see me do this two first to apply the crystal on and then this precision glue gels we're gonna use it to double secure your crystal placement your charm and your chain so first thing first we're gonna i'll go ahead and apply condensed glue gels on the it's really good and thick density you can definitely using i'm gonna do it right here in the centerpiece i'm gonna focus in right here in this part however i'm gonna be applied and tie the nails so just in case your client is want like why are you doing the designs the clients want to add a couple more crystal filler here and there or a couple more beads or frame you definitely don't want to miss a chance to adhere because if you don't have a condensed glue gel and no wipe top coat on it might not stay on it might last a day or maybe a few hours and it might pop up because there's no adhesion in there so no wipe top coat i'm go ahead and floating right on the top see that i'm gonna do i'm gonna add and tie the nail so when it finish it's gonna be completely done for you so you don't need to go back and like try to apply the top coat all around the crystal it's gonna give it really really challenge for you and also this is gonna be completely clear and dry ready to go no tacky layer at all Really nice, all right. So I'm gonna using the um, glow in the dark crystal kits. I'm getting some center pieces and then some filler here. I love this kit. It's had like a thousand of thousand of pieces. So I'm gonna get this one right here, but I'm have the designs right on my side. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the center pieces with a drop. We should right here. And then the uh, super adorable shells. So you pick the center pieces that you like the most. Like on this design, I am going to do, I did use a drop. And to make it look super cute with this colors, aqua. We're adding the filler from a glow the dark crystal kit love the crystal trifecta because i can pretty much adjusting my crystals however i like first if you need it to adjusting it shift it a little bit you can able to do that as well i'm going to add some charm just add the center pieces first and then you can add filler after that it is always Turn out the way you wanted it in. And then more frame. So as long as you keep them connect together. And then center P in the metal frame. And here we have another seashells. And up to you if you want to add some beads on. You can add some beads on. 
right away. Let me see if we can pull some beads right there. Okay. Fabulous. And adjusting it, adjusting, adjusting before you final cure. Okay. Happy with this? We'll go ahead and cure. For 60 seconds, you can add more beads as you prefer. I'm going to stop it right there. And using the piece of paper towel and wipe it off on the edges. To remove any of excess gel, it might occur so when we are doing a crystal placement. Just adjusting a little bit. All right, here, 60 seconds. How cute and easy it is, yeah? All right, so going to the next one. As I say, if you are just tuning in, welcome, welcome to Glitz Assessing Source Live Tutorial. If you are happy with this, you don't want anything else, you can do the, um, the gel light art and then go in line here. Here for 60 seconds, top coat, you're good to go. But we are going to using Crystal Trifecta to add some crystal on it. So we'll do some of similar like this. You can do it any centerpiece in different color. It doesn't have to be this. So again, we're going to start with the condensed glue gels. It is really is nice and thick density. So you don't need a whole lot. Little go a long way. I'm going to just like apply is a mid mint right along with here first. Because sometimes you might go off of the frame. And instead of in the angle shape of the crystal designs i might adding a little bit more or less so we'll make sure that we have ours condensed glue gels apply and tie the nails i love this color it looks so beautiful okay and follow with the top coat right on the top of unkeel condensed glue gels so it's gonna create it's like a double secure double adhesion for the crystal placement or crystal base, it's gonna grab really tight and suck it in in between the condensed glue gels and the white top. And I'm gonna floating right on the top, just floating, but not dragging it because you don't wanna pull away from your condensed glue gel. So you want that condensed glue gel be your first layer. And then you can able to adjust in crystal and any charm and chain while you're doing your crystal designs. I have like a couple of the charms, like a seashell charm right there. And some of my crystals and some frame I might need. But it's really easy. You, you This design is kind of a a freestyle is spontaneous you don't have to worry about if it's gonna be the wrong, right one or the wrong one only you need to do is pick whatever shape you want pick whatever shape you want and adding uh, some of the cutest like charms it. oh my god this is so cute that it has a palm tree here you can put some palm tree if you want to i have some cute palm tree I found if you are having any of a crystal kits, like any of the uh, glow in the dark crystal kits, uh, ultimate crystal kits, or the uh, any ultimate crystal kits, there's like only charms in there. The mix charm, like mega mix charm, is beautiful. I love it. It's had so many in there. You can be able to get some of them out. So now, if you like some of this, like the charms like that you can start adding some of yours crystal like along with your charm so now i'm going to fill it in the spot so i'm going to get some of the colors i like have a contrast with the colors that i having right now i mean the neon pink is gorgeous so i'm going to add some of the colors gonna pop and it's kind of give it a little bit of a um stand out getting some blue pink it looks good some of this kind of purple so 
do some, and then just fill them in. And you can also add the beads as well. Okay. Mm, kind of cute. This is today's the tutorial. It's really cute and easy, right? What you think? Mm -hmm. Nice, simple, and it's pretty. I promise you have a hand on it, you'll get a hang of it really fast. All everyone, all the nail tech can definitely have fun with this and do some cute design like this for your clients. Continue to add some. Maybe I should add some of a big one right there. Just adding some cute big one. You can add more shape if you want to. I'm going to add it. Cool. Get some bead together and place it right there. Fill it in in the gap of between your crystals, between your charms. I'm gonna add some of them. You can continue to add some beads on if you want the beads. Happy with this? We we'll are go ahead and clear this for 60 seconds. Before that, I'm gonna using a piece of paper towel again. Wipe it on just the edges to just like remove any of the excess gels that might have. This one is cute. I'm going to use this on the closing on the design. Maybe that one. Mm -hmm. Adjusting it. This is a perfect time if you need to like gather them together and then adjusting it. One more time. See if you need shifted it and need to go back in the left or the right before you are going to do final care. Great. So here for 60 seconds. This one's super cute. Yeah, and it's, it's, let me see if I have the uh, little tiny little charm right here. You can add her right there, you know. Feel free to add more, less, however you want. Let's see if I have some little shells. And you can add palm tree if you want to, okay? Cool. All right. Now I'm going to clear. And in the meantime, we are waiting for this nail to be here. I'm going to show you how you can able to double secure all of your crystal charm and chains. Even though it's have like really good secure with the condensed glue gels and no wipe top. And then we're going to using the precision glue gel to seal. First thing first, I'm going to open the other end. That's you really rare to see me doing this end a lot because I'm using this precision brush. And for a lot of more of a major frame, when you apply the frame or the bars, you know, is um, charms right there. And then we're going to go ahead and loading more than a little of uh, precision glue gels. You see, you squeeze it out from that cute little like needles. It's give you a little bit of access into the precision glue gel. But by using the brush, I can be able to brush like completely a lot of metals. I'm going to use this one too. Since this one, we're not using that, you know, to apply and seals on the metal. Try to avoiding, you are going to just like seals on the top of the metal charms, but do not do not top coat on the top of your crystal because it's, it's well taking away from the beauty of the cut and the process. So now, don't care yet. You can care if you want to, 
but I'm gonna close the end and using on the other side and start doing a little exam. When you're doing an exam, you're running a test along with the crystals, big center pieces and the little pieces, and you feel scratchy when I feel right here. And only you need to do is squeeze just a little bit. You see that how much is it's like really, really little. And you're gonna squeeze it in. It's going to seal in, and it's like running and filling in in every single like gap on crevices of the um of the crystal and the crystal design. So I'm gonna go and run, 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 run to make sure right here. You get completely covers. And then also, it's right here. It's a little bit scratchy right here. You're gonna squeeze just a little bit in, but. You can definitely repeat this step as you prefer and as you needed it to like double and triple secure it, okay? Here for 60 seconds. And then if you needed it to go back, you can definitely do it more, but I'm gonna do a second nails. Do the same thing. The other ones we already um, brush in the precision glue gel on the, on all the scented on the metal. I'm gonna go in. This one is a little bit of more like um, detail because we adding a frame, charms, beads, crystal combination together. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal and seal. And you feel right here scratchy, you're gonna squeeze just a little bit in. Like just squeeze out just a little bit and feel it in the gap. So this is gonna not only look gorgeous, but then the clients can really enjoying it without worry about it's gonna coming off. All right, you have it. We're gonna keep for sixty seconds. Oh. Make sure you don't lose this red cap. It's gonna protect your precision glue gels for a long time. Finals is condensed glue gel, no wipe top, and precision glue gels. It will nail all of your crystal placement down with like really beautiful. And it feels so confident and so secure when the clients are waiting for weeks to come. All right. So, what did I use this on now? Oh, you can just, this one I think is going to look cool if you're doing with um, Key Lamb, mm -hmm. this color. Yeah. Oh no, or oh, neon green. Neon greens for gel polish can be. I could use everything of this for like pretty much of 20, no, 50, 52, 53 colors at Glitz Hat. You can definitely use every single color with this. And with the premium I hold chamfer foil, that's all you need. If you want to chamfer all your foil image and then your encapsulates your dramatic glitter. All right, let me give it a really quick shower of its centerpieces. So. 99% alcohol. I'm going to give it a quick wipe right there, like quick shower for it to so give it, like you see how nice it is shiny because it was a little bit of cloudy due to the wax residue from the crystal picker. So give it like quick cleaned. And here you have it. And then for this is particular designs, I'm going to give you some ideas how you're pricing this one. And the pricing for this is basically when you're doing it is the basic of the French look. And for the French is basically when you're doing it one now, it starts from at least of, you know, like this is French of the um, chamfer foil. So it start a basic of $6 if you're doing it, you know, counting by one nails because you're doing it other designs on it. And then this is design is going to be at least it's $10. So this design is going to be a good up uh, between because you're going to add the liner on for the client. So like this one, this design, I would say the minimums of it is will be a $15 because you have two techniques going on. You have the, um, you have the uh, French, like chanfer foil, and then you have a crystal design. So it will give, really nice of a two techniques a client so then and first technique is chamfer foil french and second technique is crystal design so this crystal design is minimums of it ten dollars because you have a one center pieces and filler and some charm so this i'm saying it this is combination of the 
crystal and your uh, chamfer foil. So it will be a uh, fifteen dollars. It's okay here. Keep um, you talking to people and then okay. Why don't you grab her stuff real quick and just quick remind it for everyone. So anything you see Nancy use, you can get it from our official website at blissaccessionsearch.com. And right now we do have our Mother Day sales going on. You get 20% off everything. Hey, Dom. Hey, Sia. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Jay. Hey, Carisi. Yeah, we do see all of you, but during the time when Nancy do tutorial, we just don't want to disrupt her. So whenever we got a, some spot, we want to say hi to everyone. There you go. So, and then same thing with this one. You can able to do this in either what clients will choose the French or the clients is will choose to do a diagnose. However, it also depends on the salon location. You can be able to like have adjusting this designs accordingly to your special. Let's like say if you have a special prom promotion, you will have a client to come in doing dramatic set, custom set of like 120, 150, 190, 200. However, price is your custom set is, and you can able to run some um really cute promotion for clients like if you're getting your as uh, custom um designs custom set freestyle set you are receiving a two cute designs up to thirty dollars which is a two nails will cost you thirty dollars up to thirty dollars on a two nails so this and or like a new set of extra long coffin or the other service if you are doing a pedicure or manicure or other services like lashes combinations like all in one with the clients um lashes or pedicure and manicure and the total of the price that's come out with certain amounts like say 200 150 uh 300 you know it just really depends on how whatever you want to run promotion for the clients and to show their you know special and it's basically a free gift to them and show the appreciation from you to your clients so hope that idea will bring you some inspiration and remember you can put your twitch in you can add the background in a different color you can do lighter colors darker colors you can do any color i was thinking of this one will being a good color too like a rose nude and earthly you can also do that too and then a fancy blue you can also do those like a lot of colors from glitz you can definitely having fun with this is um this cute foil box with that design and um if you have any question regarding to the tutorials and the products please feel free to dm us our team will be so happy to access you as soon as possible if you have any question regarding to the shipping and order especially doing this is special mother's day sale so all the order will be shipped out within one to three business day we're trying to get it out for you to you as soon as possible have any question regarding to the order or shipping please feel free to contact us via email at info at blissaccessorinsights.com we'll be so happy to take care of you and please enjoy the special mother's day sales as 20% off site wide except the trans, uh, the subscription box. And then all the order of $99 or more. And make sure you, after your tax and discount and shipping applies and your total is come out $99 or more, you are receiving of a mystery transfer bags. You don't have to add it on. It's going to automatically come uh, home with you. So make sure you don't miss out because you like. There's a lot of orders that we're seeing you know, miss out of like one dollar. Say, come on, you can get this whole inside the bag worth of fifty dollars in the Mr. Um, Retreader bags, and you'll get it with your order of $99. You can't not miss this because the Mr. Retreader bags haven't been back to getting a special gift for a long time. So, because it's a special for Mother's Day, we want to show appreciation and thank you so much for the love and support. And we hope you're enjoying it. As, as much as we do oh my god it looks good under the background the black though you see that uh -huh. looks stunning yeah let me move it closer so you can see 
this is sub i'm excited for whoever getting the bag so don't miss out it's a great chance to get whatever you want and to you know like to add it on your inventory and also getting like stop up your inventories and then getting a special gift from gliss to every single one of you with a lot of products in your mystery cheddar bags so i am so excited today especially monday this is such a really good stunning monday and productive monday hope you are having a fabulous monday it's always the first amazing days and fabulous day of the week so i'm so looking forward to see everyone in the next live if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us okay so final look before we peace out this looks really good especially in background in like the the back though hold on let me see here you go all right final look right there Ooh. all right thank you so much hey thanks so much cindy from youtube thank you thank you finally i get some time to just look up and then to say hi but you know that i mean i really appreciate every single one of you are tuning in thank you thank you for stopping by tuning in for the love and support for the past five years we wouldn't be here without every single one of you uh jay i got my box today and i wanted to thank you everything is beautiful and i'm so excited to do my nails i'm so inspired thank you so much jay you are definitely made glitz day and thank you so much for trusting us and thank you so much for sharing your talents with us thanks so much for the love and support and we're looking forward to see a lot of your beautiful works okay and we'll definitely thank you instagram fam Facebook fam, TikTok fam, Twitch fam, and of course, amazing YouTube fam for many years. We're gonna definitely gonna see everyone in the next live. Please, in the meantime, take good care of yourself and your family and be safe out there, okay? We'll see you in.